Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and um, Ms. Deputy Speaker. I just, first of all, I want to uh, thank all the, um, uh, the panel members uh, that uh, sat on the panel and uh, through the whole summer. Um, and I know that it was difficult because there were some members that wanted to take their vacation and we were very, we tried to accommodate that. And I think that we were able to do that. Um, I just want to say that uh, this process was very open and democratic and the most that we've seen in years since I've been on this council and I've, I've been around now for 25 years and I have not seen such a democratic and open process that we've had now. We had a huge uh, pool of excellent and candidates that applied for these positions and they were very they were very diverse. They were from all parts of the city. And we as uh, 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 committee members, uh, we all, each member, uh, had an opportunity to appoint uh, members that they wanted to on the short list. And we interviewed all those members. There, were never, there was never a debate about that. Each member had an opportunity to present uh, their uh, candidates. There was a full and open discussion on selecting the candidates and interviewing. During the interviews, all the candidates were asked the same question, uh, depending on what committee uh, pertaining to that particular uh, uh, committee. And I must say that, uh, that we had a lot of very qualified candidates. Some of the candidates that we interviewed that were incumbents, very disappointed because they were actually did very poorly. They did not perform. We had the newer candidates that were never uh, uh, on, a, on a committee that performed very, very well. I was very, very impressed by that. And it was um, the strength of the candidates' interview that was... Councillor uh, Peruzza on what he well, says is a point of order. The point of order is this, is that we all know the rules here, and, and when you speak to uh, uh, and you begin to describe uh, some of the individuals involved, and incumbents were known. We all know who the incumbents were. They're publicly listed. They're publicly listed in the computer system. They're still on those boards, and we know that some of them have, uh, have uh, come forward, and they know that they've reapplied. And for the chair of the Councilor, committee, Councilor, for the chair of the committee Councilor, to stand Councilor, here and describe that process and to try to... Councillor Prutza, let's be careful about what we... Councillor? Thank you, Councillor Prutza. Thank you, Councillor Prutza. Thank you, Councillor Peruzza. Let's be careful what we say in open session. The can I am telling Councilor the Peruzza. truth. If you don't want to hear the truth, then don't listen to it. The candidates, we are very proud of the work conducted by the com uh, committee, and the candidates being recommended are very highly motivated, and I'm very confident that they will serve our city well. What we wanted was to have fresh faces on the committee. We wanted an opportunity for everyone in the city to apply on a committee and contribute to the political process, and they were very excited about that. Each one of the candidates that we interviewed, there were candidates that were on vacation, that left their vacation to come for the interviews. That's how committed these candidates were. Now, it was mentioned about the percentage. I've got to tell you that we haven't completed our interviews. We still have interviews and for in the next couple months. And we will achieve the same percentage that has been achieved in the past committees on this council. What I find very disappointing and insulting on some members of council that want to take members, these qualified, off these committees and put other, other candidates on. One that I'm very disturbed by, and we're, we're actually following the policy 
on diversity <coughs> that we want. It's very clear in our policy. Council also recognizes that the city is best served by <coughs> boards that reflect the geographic distribution and diversity of the community that they serve. <coughs> And we are actually taking somebody else that meets that criteria out. Because a member of council was not happy with that individual. I find that insulting. What I find insulting is that we're taking people off and putting people on. We're treating them like garbage. And they should be treated like that. These were people that put their time in to come for interviews, qualified people, and we are treating them like garbage. I've never seen this, ever. And it's, make, and it's making me sick. And as far as Councilor Mehevic asking the question, why a member of council was asked to leave, thrown out of council, I'll tell you why she was asked to leave. Because she used unparliamentary comments. She called the, the committee members idiots, insulted all of us, and she had every right to be thrown out of the committee. And if she doesn't agree, that's too bad. Because I will not allow that performance in a committee. And as far as, as, far as notes that Councillor Frankadakis is saying... Okay, Councillor Nunziata, you're at the five-minute mark. Would you like an extension? <laughs> Councillor Nunziata has asked for an extension. There will be a recorded vote. Councillor Cho, I don't know why your name is in the middle column. No motion uh, has been... But she's the chair. No. She, 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 she's not brought a motion forward. Councillor Kelly, please. Councillor Kelly, please. Councillor Robinson, please. Councillor Davis, please, and Councillor Peruzza. And Councillor Nunziata, please. <laughs> Councillor Moser, please. <laughs> Councillor Fillion. Motion to extend the speaking time carries 36 to 4. Councilor Nunziata. Now, as Councilor far Nunziata. as the mayor staff being no, at, in the committee, yes. we did move a motion at the committee allowing the mayor staff to be there. We all voted on it. We all voted on it, Incl including Councilor Fragadakis. And Councilor Fragadakis talks about notes. Councilor Fragadakis, when we were going through the shortlist, had her cell phone. And she, she was receiving emails from members of council of and appointing members by her cell phone. Uh, point of personal privilege. Oh, you want to talk about no. You want to talk about Mr. improper Speaker. process. Councillor McConnell, Councillor Agadakis. Oh. Order. It's Mr. Speaker, I'd like to be acknowledged. Order. You're insulting. Order. You Council have insulted Mr. this committee. And I'm Order. not going to sit back and listen to your insults. Councillor Nunziata. Okay. Okay. Councillor Nunziata. Councillor Nunziata. Councillor Fragadakis. You're on your feet. Do you have a motion? Or do you have a point of, point of privilege? Let's hear your point of privilege. Can you turn my mic off, please? Uh, if you just, everyone settle down. Thank you. Uh, on a point of personal privilege, Councillor Nunziata um, is suggesting that I was receiving some kind of notes on my BlackBerry throughout the meeting, which is completely false. She did not see what was on my BlackBerry. How does she know that? Same way Adam saw. So she was. I'm not speaking to you. Councillor Mammoliti. Councillor On a point of personal privilege. Thank you all so very much. Uh, we, we will recess if we don't get a grip. Councillor Fragadakis, thank you so much for that helpful information. Councillor Nunziata, you have the floor. Councillor Mammoliti. There's a chance, there's a chance we'll get out of here before midnight if we all just 
learn to get along. Councillor Nunziata. Okay. Just as Councillor Fragadaka says, people were handing out notes, but we didn't know what on these notes. Well, she had her cell phone. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot there was somebody. You know what? I'm Councilor sick and tired of these insults and the garbage that the members of council have said in the past day. It's insulting, and you should all be ashamed of yourself because these are good people, qualified people, and please vote for the recommendations from the committee. Thank you. I think you went off script. Th th thank you, Councillor Nunziata.